All right, this is Dave McCutcheon with Patch. I'm here with A&M Digital Technologies owner, Joe McDonald, and we're going to talk a little bit about podcasting and how this show got started and the history of your business and about you, Joe. So um, let's just start off with who you are, your background, a little bit of history, and uh, how you got this business started and how it led to here. So okay. a little bit of history, I guess. Well, Dave, I first want to thank you for letting me be on here. You know, you stuck me behind the camera for so long it's nice to actually be on this side of the camera for once that is a good point for everyone out there this whole show happens because of joe and cena mcdonald uh they sit behind the camera so i keep pointing back there behind the camera cena's still back here uh and they do all the producing and directing and setting up the show and you guys come in on tuesdays and wednesdays uh before the show even happens to get everything set up and to make this happen so that we walk in put people in front of the camera and say it's go time so a lot of work on your part and um and it makes it super nice for us because we just walk in and do the show. But a lot of behind-the-scenes work. So uh, talk a little bit about your history and how it got to where you got to this point. Well, it actually started a few years ago whenever I was still in high school. I, my junior year in high school, I actually started taking a computer repair class at Rune Jackson Technical Center. And to make a little extra money on the side and save money up for college, I actually started working on people's computers. And then it just kind of ballooned from there. And then when Cena and I started dating, she started taking an interest in what I did, and it just kind of went on from there. One thing led to another. We got married, then we decided to start a business, right. and here we are today. So you started out as a computer technician, and now you have a full-blown business revolving around computers, and uh, still do technical work. I know uh, your, job, your day job is involves technical work, and then you have your business that you run on the side. What all is involved with your business? What all do you offer to the public? As far as services go, we offer the same thing we always have is computer sales, repair, service, laptops, desktops, doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, if you got it and it's probably a computer, bring it in, you'll fix it. Right. Okay. We offer networking, uh, backup solutions, document scanning and retention, which is a neat service that yeah. not a lot of people around here uh, know about or do. And probably don't take advantage of even though they should. Right. And it's a, kind of a turnkey solution for either home or business. What we do is we take all of your important documents and then we scan them into the computer. We digitize them. Right. Then we give you one copy on CD, server, however you want it. Right. And then we keep a second copy off site in a fireproof safe for you know, for some, whatever reason it may be, a disaster hits, oh, yeah, fire, yeah. flood, whatever. Yeah, in Rome County it could be a flood, fire, you know, you name it, something could happen and you could lose all your stuff. Right. And, and you keep that backup safe. Right. And you're, we're just a phone call away say, hey, here's what, here's what happened, here's what I need, and here we come to the scene with exactly what all, whatever you, you lost. Know, it could be anything. So, all right, you've mentioned uh, computer repair and technical work. You've mentioned your backup plan and data retention. The third aspect, doing podcasts and uh, networking and so forth. Talk a little bit about that. How did that kind of come about? Well, it actually started a few years ago. I bought my first iPod Touch and got into the whole podcasting scheme. Right, right. It actually started with a tech show with actually a tech company called Twit.tv, and they have a wide range of tech shows, everything from gizmos to gadgets to enterprise, you know, technology to every. You know, Apple telephones, Android phones, anything that technology involves, they cover it. Let's back up a little bit. For people out there that may not know, and I wasn't familiar with this until we started talking about it two months ago, mm -hmm. um, what exactly is a podcast? That's probably something that we should share just to give people a background of what happens. The basic idea of a podcast is something that you want to publish to the world, but you want to make it... We're about to do this again. <laughs> there we go. Okay make it available to the world in ways that they can view, view it on their own time. Or listen to it. I know my wife, she listens to podcasts and she has a couple of favorite people, the comedy shows, you know, book reviews, whatever. So, so it's basically you go out and you find what area you want to learn about or listen to and, right. and download that podcast and listen to it. Right. And, and that's how you kind of got started in this is going to with computer stuff. Right. Because a lot of people, yeah, there's YouTube and there's Facebook, but people want to be able to listen to something without, without the availability of internet. Right. So, you know, they can download their shows and plug it into their car and they can listen to it on the way to work or on the way to right. school or whatever. Or, yeah, listen to it while you're working, while working out. That's Kel and I went to a race and my wife loaded up motorcycle shows and we listened to them for our 16 hour drive. Mm -hmm. So yes, okay, so that's one aspect of how you can use podcast uh, education, like you were doing with computer stuff, uh, technical aspects, problem solving, troubleshooting, so that's all areas you, you start in. 
how did it get to this point to where now you're producing a, your own podcast with a video <laughs> show? So you kind of got a double ringer, not only the audio aspect, but the video. Well, the opportunity rose where you guys was looking for another means of communication. So I thought, you know, I've always wanted to do this. So Zach got us kicked off the radio. Let's be up front. <laughs> Zach got us kicked off. Zach the radio. got you fired. So, <laughs> so no, we, we did a radio show. Uh, it came to an end. And then you called up one day. You saw my deal on Facebook and said, here's how we can help. Yeah, because we actually tried to test this last year. Well, actually a few months ago during the Relay for Life. Right. We wanted to do a live stream then. Few technical issues happened that we wasn't able to do it, but we was able still able to record the event and right. then broadcast it later, which a lot of people really enjoyed because you know a lot of people aren't able to make it out to Relay for Life for because they're oh, fighting yeah. cancer. You, you, you could have health reasons. Yeah. Maybe you're from out of state and you want to watch your local family members. The possibilities are endless, and we talked about this a lot. You know, being able to broadcast to the world through the internet and the two aspects. And I know, I know, just a quick talk about what I know about which is very limited of course. <laughs> but uh, we are actually going live on the internet and recording so that you can put it on Facebook on Ustream and YouTube and we can go back and watch it later so if you can't make this broadcast now you can watch it later right and that's the beauty of what we're doing we're sharing information not only in real time but also in recorded time right and the nice thing is nowadays it's available to anybody and Years ago, right. if you unless you owned your own TV station, you wasn't going to get it out to anybody. Nowadays, this is a cost-effective way to get your message out to the world. You make it sound so easy, so I'm going to disagree with you. You need <laughs> to have someone in the background to set everything up for you, uh, to do all the background work, and to make it work that way. Because uh, you say it's easy, and I'm saying, yes, it kind of is, but no, there is some expertise back here. But the beauty of that, and my whole statement, is... You need someone in the background to do that, uh, I'll say, professional technical work for you. I may have been able to struggle through this, but I doubt it. And I consider myself to be pretty proficient with computers. So, with that being said, what makes this show happen and work is A&M Digital Technology. You and Cena uh, put a lot of work into this and the background of it and picking out, you know, what I really appreciated was getting us the right equipment. Um, we did our very first show, and boy, it was a hoopla of trying to get the mics to work in the right way and get the sound going, uh, getting the camera set up and working through that. And two shows later, uh, with uh, our equipment lined out and the process lined out with all your all's hard work, we're up and running. And now we're to wireless mics and shows flow smoothly. We just brought in our fitness class, which had six kids and an instructor, and they all sat down and did a wonderful broadcast that now the world can see and our parents can watch later. And, um, you know, and we'll share that with our stakeholders and our program and stuff. So. The professional background, I think, is what's really good and what I want to talk about a little bit now. Um, what you bring to the table, if, if someone wanted to do this, and it could be on anything. They might mm -hmm. have a topic that they want to discuss, like J.D. Painter does our five minutes outside with J.D. It's around uh, hunting. He might want to, someone might want to do a hunting show. What would they have to do? First and foremost, the most important thing is pick a topic you enjoy. Yeah. Because there's no need to, you know, waste your time and effort putting into a podcast that doesn't interest you. So that's the key, first, most important thing. Secondly, in this case, we do have a studio. We do have it set up right. where we have this, you know, all the wireless mics and equipment. But if you're just a single person, you want to do your podcast, you can do it with just a simple laptop and an internet connection. Right. So it can be really simple depending on your needs or more elaborate, which we have set up to accommodate more people in different topics. So pick a topic you like. Determine what kind of setup you need, and and to be honest with you, I was going to say if it were me, but it was me. What I did was you say, like, Joe, this is what we have to do. Bring your company in. Let's sit down, work out the logistics. The first thing you and uh, Cena did is, where do we want to go with this? How how big a production do you want? What's the needs? And you guys brought in the stuff and said, here's our game plan. So uh, I think that's important. People need to know that you know these things just don't happen. You have someone in the background that does the work. Uh, and brings the package together, and that's what you all offer. So if uh, someone wanted to get a hold of you and say, you know what, I'm interested in doing a podcast either as a hobby or for their business and getting it out there on the Internet and letting people watch it, what's the best way to contact you, get a hold of you, and start that? They can actually give us a call at our offices at 304-927-3588. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 6. Or you can visit our website at www.amdigitaltechnologies.com. Actually, we have a button on the right that says Online Store. And actually, some of the equipment that we use here for this show, right. we have available. And that's and, and we've bought everything that's uh, making this show happen through your business. 
Uh, and I think that's important, you know, a local business with local people uh, here in Roan County making this happen and doing it on your own accord, you know, it's your business, you took the bull by the horns and now you're offering this to the public. Uh, so it, it's, I'll say it's easy for me to do. Hey Joe and Cena, this is kind of what we want to do and then, you know, we show up on Thursday and it's happening. So, all right, all great information. Again, that's how you get a hold of Joe and Cena and that's A&M Digital Technologies. They make this show happen. They do all the work behind the scenes. So I'm finally, I'm happy to get you out here in front of the camera for a change. Uh, and, uh, and if anybody needs to get a hold of you, that's how they do it. And it's, it's really easy. So um, pick your topic. Think of a good way to do a podcast, either audio or video or combined. And uh, call these folks up. So, again, thanks A&M Digital Technology. Coming to the rescue when we needed to get information out there for parents in the community and helping us get all this set up. And here we are today broadcasting to the World Wide Web. It's fantastic. Well, Dave, I want to thank you and Pat for giving us the opportunity to do this because a lot of people would look at this and go, I don't know, but th but you was willing to give us a chance, and so far, and it's been successful. You had a good sales pitch, and it was easy. You know, and then that's, I think that's key. When you come into something, you, you know what you're talking about. That makes it nice. For someone that had, and again, I'll say myself, I, um, I can do the computer work I need to do, but otherwise I had no idea about podcasts. I'd only heard them because my wife was able to load them on my MP3 player. Otherwise, I'd have had no idea. Uh, so the process is painstakingly easy to do. Uh, so I think that's fantastic. And I like it. It's local. It's home. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, so people, here we go. Joe McDonald, Cena McDonald, a and Digital Technologies. Get a hold of them. Start your own broadcast. Uh, if you need any more information, contact us. Contact them, of course, and uh, we'll, they'll get you started. So, Joe, thanks again. Thank Cena, you. thanks for doing all the work behind the scenes. This is Dave McCutcheon with Patch, and I'm here with Joe McDonald from a and Digital Technologies. We'll catch up with you next time. Thanks. Thanks.